This is a Marcus. This is a Marcus. In the unauthorized use of the This is a Marcus. This is a Marcus. In the unauthorized use of this trip. This is a Marcus. This is a Marcus. This is a Marcus. This is a Marcus. What's up, everybody out there, man? It's your boy Marcus Elbow. Welcome back to the lab. I know it's been a minute since I did a video. You know what I'm saying? Sorry about that. I've been working on showing that, uh, showing Rock an album. I appreciate all the uh, messages I've been getting and all the, the new subscribers to the channel, man. I really appreciate the love. Appreciate all the, the nice comments y'all been leaving. You know what I'm saying? And I'm glad that y'all liking the tutorial. So uh, let's just keep it rolling. You know what I'm saying? Uh, this tutorial I'm about to get ready to do right now is going to be a tutorial on on Rewire. I did a, a tutorial on Rewire earlier, but I just taught you guys how to take uh, Reason and make it, you know, have it to become a slave and have Pro Tools pull to track along with your song so that you could just have the beat playing and you could do your vocals and you don't have to record reason inside of Pro Tools you just kind of have it just being dragged along now what we're about to do is uh, take it to the next level since you done already did all your vocals and you, you, you sitting up here and you're saying okay well everything is fine now but now I need to get you know reason inside of Pro Tools so that I could you know mix the track and have the track on Pro Tools and work with it you know with Pro Tools and then just you know get Reason program out of the equation and just have the track recorded the way you do that is a very simple process I'm gonna try to make this as quick as possible uh, let's go ahead and get started I already have Pro Tools up and running and this is Sean Rocker's song It's called Get Money new song gonna be hitting the radio soon and I also have reason running in the background also okay and as you can see I'm using the, the basic rewire just got it dragging along yeah what's up it's your boy Sean Rocker it's the new hustlers anthem all around the world no matter whatever city state country my real niggas if you get money stand up all my down women if you get money Okay, <clears throat> now if you're asking yourself, I know you, I don't know if you've seen Pro Tools 08 yet, uh, but if you're still working in uh, Pro Tools 7.4, this will still work the same, but I am working in Pro Tools 08. I copped a new 08 joint, and pretty much it's just a new interface. It come with a couple of new pro uh, plugins or whatever, but you know, for the most part, they just made it look prettier, which is cool, uh, so they can compete, I guess, with uh, Logic Pro or whatever else, whatever, but uh, this is uh, Pro Tools 08, so let's go ahead on and get started. All right, I already have, uh, you know, I have an instrument track right here. This is my instrument track right here that I have uh, Reason running on. Now, what I need to do is I need to take all the tracks that is running in Reason and bring them into Pro Tools. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to my options, and I'm going to go toggle rack front rear. And this is all my this is all my instruments coming into my mixer, okay? But now what I need to do is I need to get all of these instruments to rewire and have them go into Pro Tools. And the way you do that is by going up and and going up and looking at uh checking out reasons, I mean reason and look at reason and then you have the hardware device. Okay? That's what we're going to be working with. Go ahead and open that up. And as you can see when we open that up, we have lines where we can bring in, you know, lines in. Now this is this is the rewire device. This is the device. This is the device that uses, uh, that makes it possible for you to be able to talk to Pro Tools, uh, you know, to be able to talk between the two programs. And as you can see, right here we have the master out coming from the mixer, and we have those two lines that are going into the hardware device. And that's how we're able to hear reasons, and that's how. Uh, Pro Tools is able to, you know, communicate with Reason. Okay, but we, what we're gonna need to do though is we're gonna need to go ahead on and disconnect. Go ahead and disconnect that that main out from the mixer because we're not gonna use that. We're gonna actually bring in each line, each line into its own uh, line here inside of the hardware device. So let's just go ahead on and right click on that, and we're gonna disconnect that. And then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna start pulling the lines over. One goes into one, 
you know, it says left and right when I'm pulling over. And if you can't see that, I'll kind of zoom in for you so you can see what I'm doing here. I'm just grabbing it and I'm going over. Okay. Now, I might end up pausing this video while I'm doing this because, I mean, who wants to see me continue to just keep going over and over and over and lining all these up but that's what you do and if you start having problems where you can't see past some wires just go up to the option and reason and then just turn off show cables and then it'll show you just where it see it shows where it lit up that lets you know that something is there and then you can still grab it and bring it over here the same way okay now we have all our tracks headed over inside the hardware device and they're ready to go Pro Tools should be receiving the signal but if I push play on reason only thing we'll hear is those first two tracks which will be labeled master left and right inside of Pro Tools here we go yeah. only thing we're getting is those uh, the only thing we're getting is just the, the, the shaker I'm going to go ahead and mute Sean's uh, lyrics real quick so that all we can hear is the track. Okay, now, since I know I got everything wired right inside of Reason, what I need to do now is I need to go up and I need to create the tracks that I'm going to need so that Pro Tools can route all these tracks so we can hear them. And if you do a count, you'll see that we have, uh, we have, let's just, don't count. Don't count left and right, just count one of them. So we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. We have 11 tracks. Since we already got one that was created that we was using earlier for uh, Pro Tools to, to talk to uh, Reason, all we need is 10. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to minimize that, and I'm going to go inside of Pro Tools. I'm going to go to Track. I'm going to go to New. And I'm going to create 10 tracks. And I'm going to create 10 instrument tracks in stereo now some of them can be in mono if you like like let's say if you got a bass line or something and and the bass line only has one line coming into the mixer then what you need to do is you need to separate that track go ahead and create nine tracks and then create one as a mono that way you can dedicate that one mono track to that bass line all right go ahead and create an instrument track hopefully you can see that i got a pretty big screen so it's pretty big to me but go ahead on create 10 tracks stereo instrument tracks and then go ahead on and push create and what Pro Tools is going to do is it's going to create all those tracks. Now what we need to do is we need to go ahead on and, and tell um, we need to go ahead and, and, and tell Pro Tools, hey, I need you to go look for these uh, look for these tracks inside of whatever bus or whatever track that reason is designated that sound to be on. So let's go ahead on and and, uh, and make this bigger. Okay. So now, hello all our tracks over here. They're all they're all brown over here. And let's just go ahead on and move the transpose out the way. And then we're going to go into the insert and then we're just going to start bringing them in. And remember, we already have uh left and right over here. As you can see, mix left and right. So what we need to do is we need to start from, you know, we need to start from 3 4 so forth from so on. And we're going to go to multi-channel plug in. We're going to go down to instrument and then we're gonna go to reason and then we're gonna click on the uh, the reason uh, deal and then we're gonna go 3-4 okay and then we're gonna go ahead and move this out the way so we can see we're gonna go to the next track and we're gonna do the same thing multi-channel plug-in instrument reason and then we're gonna go to 5-6 and we're gonna continue to do this for each track okay now, I'm going to go ahead on and pause this while I do this. That way, you guys could uh, go ahead and do yours. <laughs> 